Donald Dump Truck by Hugh Wright, illustrated by Connor Cavanaugh, as read with character voices by Paul Cuthbert. As the sun comes up over the ridge, a band of trucks is building a bridge to span the river and connect the town and help all the good folks get around. There's Danny Bulldozer and Enzo the Crane, Rusty the Digger, and Foreman Zane. Working dawn till dusk, no ifs or buts, they'll get the job done right and no shortcuts. Then one morning, Zane came to say a new team member was on the way. We need to shift this dirt and muck, so I'm calling in a big dump truck. Dump truck rolled up, a portly fellow. His cab was orange and his horn was yellow. He smiled broadly, turned down his throttle, and said, Hi, folks, my name is Donald. On construction sites from east to west, I'm the toughest, strongest, and best. There's never been a load, big or tall, that Donald Dump Truck couldn't haul. I can't stand losers because I'm a winner. I'll have this place cleaned up by dinner. When dirt needs moving, folks all say, Donald Dump Truck will save the day. As Donald continued, Smiling brightly, the team nodded and listened politely. Donald's wheels are impressively shiny. They're also surprisingly tiny. He blasts his horn, and his engine hums. He says, let's get working, everyone. The crew heads off to begin their toil. Zane shows Donald where to dump the soil. Rusty dumps earth into Donald's truck bed. That's enough, Donald hollers, shaking his head. Rusty's puzzled, can't believe his ears. We do this my way, Donald growls. I'm the boss around here. Huffing and puffing, his face turning pink. <sighs> <sighs> Donald roars off, but returns in a wink. Later that day, Danny comes up to say, Hello, Donald. Can I help in some way? Donald toots curtly as he shifts into gear. <coughs> Sorry, don't need you round here. In no time at all, the dirt piles near zero. For all on the site, Donald's their new hero. Together, they all let out a big cheer. Hooray! <coughs> no sweat, Donald shrugs. I'm nearly done here. Sundown's approaching, and Zane stops by. <sighs> I wish every truck was like you, he says with a sigh. Donald chuckles and zips down the track like a flash. Then in the distance, Zane hears a big splash. Stop that, Donald. You can't put junk in the stream. You'll poison the water. Fish need it pristine. I thought it was odd. This job should take a week. If you haven't been dumping the dirt in the creek... Donald got mad and he started to pout. Who cares if I squash some bugs or some trout? Zane spoke sternly. We do, no ifs and buts. You can't be a winner by taking shortcuts. By the time Donald dumped the next load, it was night. He looked at the road, winding back to the site. That track is so long and I'm ready for bed. I'll cut through this flowering meadow instead. He dashed off the trail and into the grass but quickly got stuck and began to sink fast. He strained and he struggled. He fumed and he stomped. This was no meadow. This was a swamp. Help me! Oh, help me! Donald fell into a panic. Someone come quickly! I need a mechanic! But nobody came. His cries drew a blank. The faster his little wheels spun, the deeper he sank. Back at the site, Zane locked up the gate. The clock on his dash said a quarter to eight. He was about to head home, right then and there, when far in the distance he heard a toot of despair. <coughs> Zane stepped on the gas and flew down the trail. He honked his horn, and nearby heard a wail. <coughs> the sight that he saw then confirmed his worst fears. Donald was stuck in the swamp, right up to his ears. Zane radioed the crew. Our new friend's in a pinch. Danny, bring your work light. Enzo, bring your winch. With a lot of teamwork and a dollop of luck, we might save Donald Dump Truck. The trucks all assembled, and Enzo swung the cable. 
Rusty hooked it to Donald. Then the whole team was able. With Danny pushing to drag Don from the ewes, he said, I feel a bit sick. I think I've blown a fuse. The very next morning, after he'd had a bath, Donald and Rusty traveled the path, cleaning the creek, making it right. Soon enough, there was no mess in sight. Donald gathered the crew. He had something to say. Got a huge job back east, so I'm leaving today. But I've learned my lesson. No ifs or buts. You can't be a winner by taking shortcuts. Donald drove out as the team waved goodbye. For all of his bluster, they would miss this guy. His tiny, shiny wheels looking slightly worn, with his orange cab and his yellow horn. <laughs> the end. <laughs>